Structure from motion means reconstructing the camera poses and the scene structure from the list of unordered images. Usually, the global SFM pipeline consists of the following steps. First, feature extraction and matching across all images using for example SIFT descriptors. Then, perform relative pose estimation between image pairs, using Nister's 5-point algorithm in RANSAC or other methods. Estimate the global rotations by multiple rotation averaging. And using the initial estimates of the rotations, find the global translations. Then, using both rotations and translations, perform multi-view triangulation to get the initial estimates of the 3D points. Finally, we can perform bundle adjustment, a joint optimization of the camera poses and the 3D points based on the reprojection errors. So the standard pipeline consists of these six main steps. Here, step 4, 5 and 6, are influenced by the rotation accuracy of step 3. To improve the accuracy, we propose an intermediate step 3.5. This is what we call rotation-only bundle adjustment, ROBA. This approach has the following advantages. First, unlike rotation averaging, the optimization uses the image measurements as direct input, and this leads to the accuracy improvement. Also, unlike bundle adjustment, it is completely independent of the translations and structure. For bundle adjustment, we need good initial estimates of the translations and structure, because otherwise the iterative nonlinear optimization will not converge to a good solution. In contrast, our method decouples the rotations from the rest, so it's completely immune to the inaccuracies of translations and structure. Our work is based on the two-view rotation-only method, proposed by Kneipp and Lienen in 2013. To understand their main idea, consider this toy example, where three points are co-visible in two calibrated views. Notice that each point forms an epipolar plane with the two views. This figure shows three epipolar planes with normal vectors n1, n2 and n3. If all measurements were perfectly accurate, the normals of the epipolar planes would be coplanar, because they are all perpendicular to the translation vector t. In practice, this does not happen due to noise. So instead, we find the rotation that makes the normals as coplanar as possible. This leads to the following eigenvalue minimization problem. Here, lambda m denotes the smallest eigenvalue of matrix m defined as follows. Notice that this problem does not explicitly involve the translation vector. Therefore, using this formulation, we can optimize the rotation between two views, independently of the translation. However, this method is limited to only two views. In our work, we extend their idea to multiple views. First, we formulate our optimization problem as shown here. We compute lambdas for all existing camera pairs observing more than 10 points in common. Then we take the square root of each and add them up. This is the cost function we try to minimize, and our state consists of the global rotations of all cameras. Then, we solve this problem using the atom optimizer, proposed by Kingma and Ba in 2015. Atom has been widely used in deep learning, and we found that it works well for our problem. To evaluate our method, we compared two approaches. One is rotation averaging, and the other is rotation averaging followed by ROBA. For rotation averaging, we use the state-of-the-art method proposed by Chatterjee and Govindu in 2018. Here are some quantitative results on synthetic data. We tested 12 different configurations. And for each configuration, we ran 100 independent simulations. In 1200 out of 1200 simulations, we found that our method improved the results. On the right, we present the median rotation errors in degree we see that the errors are reduced in all configurations. What we found is that the more densely connected the graph, the better our method works. We also found that our method is robust to challenging configurations, such as planar scenes and pure rotations. This is shown in the last four rows in the table. We also tested our method on real data, provided by Wilson and Snavely in 2014. This consists of 15 datasets, and in all 15 of them, our method improved the results. This table gives some of the numbers. The rotation errors in degree are shown in black and the computation times in second are shown in blue. Notice that in some datasets we achieve 2 to 3 degrees of average error reduction. For more details and discussions, please check our paper, Rotation Only Bundle Adjustment. Thank you for your attention.